next method of preparation is by dry distillation of calcium salts of fatty acids. Calcium formate on pyrolysis gives formaldehyde. Calcium formate mixed with calcium salts of any other fatty acids gives aldehydes. Calcium salts of fatty acids other than calcium formate gives ketones. The reason is calcium formate 2 moles it gives formaldehyde and calcium carbonate. The combination of salts, calcium salts, the calcium acetate plus calcium formate, it gives SLDide and calcium carbonate. While the two moles of calcium acetate gives acetone. Calcium salts of dibasic acids on heating gives cyclic ketones. Instead of using calcium salts of an acid, vapors of acid or mixture of acids can be passed over heated magnesium oxide at 300 degree centigrade temperature. The reaction is CS3COOH plus HCOOH MnO magnesium oxide at 570 Kelvin temperature gives CS3CHO plus carbon dioxide CO2 plus water. Next reaction 2 CS3COH when heated at 570 Kelvin temperature in presence of magnesium oxide it gives CS3COCS3 plus carbon dioxide CO2 plus water. It is believed that here carboxylic acids are first converted into magnesium salts which decomposes to form aldehyde or ketones. The reaction is 2RCOH in presence of MnO and high temperature it gives RCOO whole twice MN. When further heated, it gives RCOR plus MnCO3, which on further heated, it gives MnO plus carbon dioxide. Now, the next method of preparation by the hydration of alkynes. Alkynes, when hydrated in presence of dilute sulfuric acid and mercury sulfate at 60 degree centigrade temperature, it gives corresponding aldehyde or ketones. The reaction is CH triple bond CH acetylene when hydrated plus water in presence of dilute sulfuric acid and mercury sulfate HGSO4 at 60 degree centigrade temperature. It forms an unstable compound CH2 double bond CHOH which further converts into CS3 CHO SLDHYDE. In the same manner, propyne CS3 C triple bond CH when hydrated plus water in presence of dilute sulfuric acid it gives an in, it gives an unstable compound CS3 COH CS2 which further converts into acetone CS3 CO CS3. Next method is hydroboration of alkynes. Aldehydes are formed when the triple bond is present on the terminal carbon atoms. However, ketones are formed when the triple bond is present on non-terminal carbon. The reaction is 3CS3C triple bond CH in presence of BH3 PHF then it gives a compound CS3 CH double bond CS3 B which on further treatment with hydrogen peroxide in alkaline medium it gives CS3 CH double bond CH OH 
which further rearranges to give CS3, CS2, CHO the aldehyde. In the same manner, the compound pent to ion CS3, C, triple bond C, CS2, CS3 when treated in presence of BS3, THF and hydroperoxide, it gives pentane to own CS3, C double bond O, CS2, CS2, CS3, this is a major part, along with the formation of pentane 3 own in the minor part, CS3, CS2, C double bond O, CS2, CS3. However, remember that vinyl borins formed from terminal alkynes used for preparing aldehydes still have one hydrogen atom that can further react with fresh molecules of diborane leading to low yield of aldehyde. Therefore, it is advisable to use sterically hindered alkyl borane instead of diborane especially during preparation of aldehydes. One such sterically hindered alkyl borane is DCMIL borane.